2-0 leads, and Chad Matola corrected that in a hurry. His third homer of the season ties the game at two over the palm trees. Fernando pulled after five innings, five innings pitched, six hits, two earned runs, two walks, three strikeouts, one standing ovation. Bottom of the 10th, still a 2-2 game. Nail-biting time as Bruce Bochy watches Greg Vaughn strike out with the bases loaded. Two down. Bottom of the 12th, still a 2-2 game. Jody Reed's first at-bat of the game. A blooper into right field. Thomas Howard tries to nail Vaughn at the plate. The throw is not in time. Padres win. The Padres win. 3-2. The victory snaps San Diego's seven-game losing streak to the Reds. Seventh, 2 nothing Marlins, but Kevin Brown in a bases loaded jam, and Rondell White bounces to third. Kurt Abbott to second for one. Ralph Milliard's throw gets by Greg Colburn. Griff Floyd and F.P. Santangelo both score, so we're tied at two in the bottom of the eighth. One man on for Mike Lansing. Takes reliever Jay Powell into the right field corner. Mark Gruzelanek says, I'm being waved home, and I'm going to score easily. I don't think he said that. I'm just saying he said he said that. Nonetheless, the Expos come from behind and win three to two. Mel Rojas pitched the ninth for his 32nd save and 36 chances and nine. 5-2 Braves, two men on, here it is. 41st homer of the year for Todd Hundley. Breaks Roy Campanella's record for most homers in a single season by a catcher. Also ties the game at five. Bottom 12, two men on, Lance Johnson, his 207th hit this year. That still leads the league. Drives in Franco, and the Mets go on to win by the score of 6-5 in 12 innings. That was Matt Franco scoring, not John Franco. 6-5 in 12 the Braves have lost six in a row. It's their worst skid since 1991. David Wells against Tony Clark, and this is a three-run home run. It's quite a three-run home run. Wynn carries it into the second deck. His 20th homer of the year. Tigers go up 6-1. Seventh inning, O's down 6-3, but Todd Zeal, his fifth home run is an Oriole. O's now down just 6-4. Still in the seventh. Now tied at six. Bases loaded, a developing situation. Roberto Alomar singles to right. B.J. Surhoff scores. O's up one. Will they go up two? Chris Hoyles is out at the plate. Did not matter because the first run was the lead run and it turns out to be the winning run. The O's win it by the score of seven. First no score. Make that two nothing. McGuire busts out the whoop and stick for his 49th time this year. Oakland leads two nothing off of Nagy. 3-2 tribe in the fourth base is loaded for Kevin Seitzer. Doubles off of Don Wengert. Just missing a grand slam, Alomar, Vizquel, Lofton, come on down, 6-2 Indians. To the top of the eight, McGuire up with the bases loaded. What a way to get 50 for the season if he could. A grand slam, however, Charles Nagy gets his swing. He'd have to wait for 50. Nagy, eight innings pitch, two earned runs, Cleveland wins 9-2, Nagy wins his fourth number 50, and against Chad O.J., he got it! A two-run shot. 13th different player to hit 50 home runs in one year. 2 nothing Oakland. Tribe trails 6-5 with two on for Albert Bell, and Albert Bell says, you know what? I can do this, too. In fact, I did it 50 times last year. I have now done it 46 times this year. A three-run shot. Cleveland leads 8-6, would win 9-8, swept the doubleheader. They've now won six straight half First, scoreless. Paul Molitor at the plate. The gets hit number 29, 97 of his career off of Bob Walcott. Molitor one for one. Now one for two in the bottom of the six. 3-1 twins make that career hit 29, 98. Molitor two for three. Bottom eight in a 3-3 game. Molitor steps to the plate again. As they tack on that little vinyl number. Steps onto the plate. Takes Bobby Ayala deep in the hole, and Alex Rodriguez says, no 29.99 for you. Molitor finished the day two for four. Tied at three in the top 10th. Rich Amaral on first. Dave Hollins. The sacrifice bunt, Eddie Guardado, throws to second. Amaral is safe. The relay by Jeff Rebele. Why? Amaral comes all the way around to score. M's lead 4-3, win at 5-3 in 10 innings. Said Molitor of being robbed by Rodriguez. I Fly ball to deep left, Tim Raines. Back and makes a great grab. Ed Sprague had to go back to first. Rogers pitching to Alex Gonzalez now in the fourth. It's a foul ball. Looks innocent enough. But Joe Torrey saw something. Comes out. Says we got a problem. Rogers wants to stay in. Torrey pulls him. Rogers an inflamed left shoulder. Game tied at one of the eighth. Cecil Fielder. That's a base hit. Ruben Rivera comes in to score. Yanks were up 2-1, and they go on to win by the final score of 3-1. So the Yanks have now won five games in a row. Rogers gave up a run in four-plus innings, pitched well, but it has a huge day. Fifth inning, Tartable base hit. Robin Ventura comes in to score. White Sox up by the score of 7-3. Eighth inning, 
bases loaded. Tartable again, his 11th career Grand Slam. Six RBIs for Tartable in the game. White Sox better than Red Sox on this day, 13 to five. The six RBIs for Tartable, who's bounced back. Jeffries at second, and Santiago got it. Off of Jaime Navarro, number 26 for Santiago, 3-0 Phils. 6-0 Phillies in the bottom of the seventh. Mike Mims working on a shutout until Ryan Sandberg breaks it up with his 24th homer, 264 in his career, second all-time on homers by a second baseman, passing Rogers Hornsby, Joe Morgan, who will be there for the... Deep center. Bases were loaded. Do we have a grand slam? No. We have a grand rule double. Scores two. 2-0 two Brewers. Top of the sixth, 4-1 Brewers. Roger Pavlik in trouble again. Jeff Cirillo. Three-run home run to left, his 15th on the year. Pavlik went six and a third, gave up seven earned runs on eight hits. Cirillo, three hits, drives in three. Brew Crew wins it by the final score of eight to six. Newfield had two doubles and one single. Brewers have won eight of 12 against the Rangers this year. Angels and the Royals. Jason Dixon pitching to Jose Offerman. He went the other way. Mike Sweeney comes in to score. Offerman, two hits in the game, 3-1 KC. Bottom five, 3-1 Royals. Mike McFarland is your batter. We apologize for the far away angle on that, but it is <laughs> inside the foul pole, a fair ball. When it's inside the foul pole, it's a fair ball. 4-1 Royals, they go on to win by the score of 8-5. Eight, eight innings for Kevin A. Game lead over San Diego as they took on the cards. And look at Rojo Mondesi loving his glove. Getting the catch on. It's still 4-2. Bottom seven. One on. Mike Piazza takes Danny Jackson deep. Did he bring it back? No, I don't think so. It's a two-run shot. Number 34 for Piazza. 6-2 L.A. Top eight. 6-4 now. Tough week in L.A. Liner to left by Lankford. Here's Royce Clays now. Yeah, let's take another look. That would have tied it, but... 6-5 lead for the Dodgers. Bottom of the eighth, still 6-5. Billy Ashley pitch hitting. He takes the ball deep. A three-run shot. Ashley's fourth pinch hit homer of the year. Eighth overall, 9-5.